Hi everyone. In this video today let us discuss one of the anticoagulant edoxaban. When there is a damage to the blood vessel clotting process is going to be activated but in few of the conditions we can observe abnormal clot formation where platelets are aggregated along with activation of coagulation factors. But in few of the conditions we can observe thrombus formation particularly in those people with raised levels of cholesterol where the fatty streaks are formed over the clot resulting in a dense fibrous cap and this abnormal clot is called as thrombus. This thrombus can reduce the blood flow but when it is ruptured a small fragment can be moved and it can form the embolus. This embolus can block the tiny blood vessels which results in the arrest of blood flow. So either thrombus formation as well as embolism is associated with abnormal clot formation. Such type of events can be observed during major injury where clotting process are more activated and in such people if risk factors are associated they can form the thrombus or during any surgery again there is a chance of abnormal clot formation. Apart from these conditions sometimes cardiovascular conditions like non-volvular atrial fibrillation can also increase the risk of thrombus formation. In such people because of more rate of atrial contraction it can increase the risk of stroke by increasing the embolism within the CNS as well as it can also increase the risk of pulmonary embolism. These conditions are very fatal so they should be immediately treated. We can use the different types of anticoagulants. Among them edoxaban is one of the anticoagulant which is having the suffix xeban. Here the xeban indicates that this drug is acting like factor 10a inhibitor. So simply this is an anticoagulant which acts as factor 10a inhibitor where the factor 10a plays a key role in clot formation. So even it interferes with the normal clotting mechanism but in the people with any thromboembolism and risk for thrombus formation in such conditions edoxaban can be given to control the thrombus formation. So one of the condition is the deep vein thrombosis where edoxaban can be given to control the thrombus formation and it can also be given to the pulmonary embolism where this thrombus broken into small fragments and it can block the blood vessels within the pulmonary system. So both of these conditions can be controlled by suitable treatment with edoxaban. But while administering this drug the kidney functionality should be thoroughly assessed and particularly the creatinine clearance should be checked. In those people with creatinine clearance greater than 95 ml per minute this edoxaban is ineffective. So in such people it cannot be used to control deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. So only those people with creatinine clearance less than 95 ml per minute this edoxaban is effective. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this edoxaban, how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all let us see the precautions of edoxaban. One of the important precautions of edoxaban is that since this drug acts as an anticoagulant it can increase the risk of bleeding so it should be carefully given because of risk of bleeding which can be further increased by other drugs which are co-administered with edoxaban. For instance if you have the antiplatelets like aspirin, fibrinolytics like altiplase, urokinase and even if you have the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs all these drugs can increase the risk of bleeding when they are combined with edoxaban. So care should be taken while edoxaban is combined with these types of drugs. But in few of the people we can observe the uncontrolled bleeding that's called pathological bleeding. In such people edoxaban should not be given because it further increases the risk of bleeding which is not easily controlled. So in such people edoxaban is contraindicated. And the important precaution is that this drug being an anticoagulant it should not be stopped before the treatment so premature discontinuation of this drug may increase the risk of thrombus formation. Since this drug is going to reduce the thrombosis premature discontinuation should be avoided and the important precaution is that edoxaban can act up to the 24 hours so it can show the anticoagulant activity up to 24 hours after administration. So during this 24 hours the risk of bleeding is pronounced with edoxaban. That's why before the surgery edoxaban should be stopped at least 24 hours before because this drug may increase the risk of bleeding during the surgery. 
and even there is no suitable antidote is available for edoxaban so care should be taken while checking the risk of bleeding with this drug and even with hemodialysis we cannot find the suitable clearance with this drug so hemodialysis is ineffective to reverse the activities of edoxaban that's why before using this drug the risk of bleeding should be thoroughly assessed and in the conditions like pathological bleeding or before the surgery this drug should be avoided similarly during epidural anesthesia and spinal anesthesia again care should be taken because use of edoxaban can increase the risk of hematoma this hematoma lead to some paralysis so in such conditions edoxaban should be carefully used now let us the side effects of this drug the important side effects are mainly related with anticoagulant effects it can produce bleeding sometimes it can also produce abdominal bleedings which may lead to some abdominal pain even it can produce anemia fatigue and skin rashes can be produced with this drug now let us see how this drug acts within the intima of the blood vessels the clotting process is initiated by various types of clotting factors among them factor 10a plays an important role this factor 10a can activate the prothrombin that is factor 2 in order to activate this factor 2 factor 10a requires other cofactors like factor 5a phospholipids and calcium these can bind with factor 10a which is then going to be activated then it can interact with the prothrombin 2 which is then converted into thrombin that is a factor 2a that is a activated form of factor 2 this thrombin can act on the fibrinogen so that they can be converted into a meshwork of fibrin this fibrin forms a mesh of clot coupled with platelets which arrest the blood flow under normal conditions thrombin is activated to control the blood loss but in the people with any risk factors for thrombosis the activation of thrombin forms abnormal clot leading to thromboembolism in such conditions we can use the edoxaban edoxaban is a factor 2a inhibitor by inhibiting this factor 2a it can control the clot formation thereby it can control thromboembolism how it is given this drug is available as a tablet at different strengths starting from 15 mg 30 mg and 60 mg the dose of edoxaban is started at 60 mg given once daily but as we have discussed earlier before administering this drug creatinine clearance should be checked in those people with creatinine clearance in between 15 to 50 ml per minute the dose of the drug should be reduced to 30 mg given once daily in the people with creatinine clearance 50 to 95 it can be given with full dose 60 mg once daily when this creatinine clearance is greater than 95 ml per minute then this drug is ineffective and it should not be used So that's all about this drug edoxaban which is a factor 10a inhibitor which acts as an anticoagulant that controls the thrombus formation as well as thromboembolism that's why this drug can be used in the conditions like deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism that are coupled with non valvular atrial fibrillation but risk of bleeding is one of the important precaution that should be considered with this drug in the people with pathological bleeding this drug should be avoided So that's all about this drug edoxaban hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video